Hello friends, this is Nageshwar. Welcome to my channel ITBird143. In this tutorial, I will show how to create multiple users at once by using special tools in Windows Server 2003. First, I will create users by using LDA FTE command in CMD. Let's see what is LDA FTE function. For that, come to start. Please open command prompt and come to C drive and here just type LDIFTE and space enter. Here it is showing different options used along with LDIFTE command. Here I am using import option and export option in LDI FTA command. First, I will export the users available in my domain. For this, I am using LDI FTA space iPhone F. Space F type the file exporting the users after typing that enter now it is connecting to the server one internet.com and exporting the directory to the file users.ldf okay total 175 entries are exported to this file and now come to the users ldf file open this and here you can find different users all the users from my domain and after that just close this now after exporting all the users let's create new users and for that I have created one LDF file with all the usernames. So here it is showing DN which represents distinguished name and CN common name and OU's organization unit and DC is domain component. Uh, it's not a domain controller, it's a domain component. Intranet.com okay um i have entered all the users and after this just close this and come to the command prompt So just open here, here it is showing the organizational unit. So before that we have to create a organizational unit. Come to intranet.com, right click, come to new, please select organizational unit and enter your organization unit name which entered into this file. Okay, it's first block. Okay, now it is created. Come to the command prompt. Here, just we need to assign the LDF file. Okay, so for that, auto user dot LDF. And before that, just come to auto user.ldf file, and here it is showing the different users, and at the end, it is showing the user principal name only for this user account and followed by the user account control 512. 
user account control is used to enable the account now after that come to the command prompt follow the command and enter and now here it is showing four entries modified successfully okay come to the active directory users and please select the organization unit and refresh it once now here it is showing the four users here it is not showing the manasa because here i have given the user account control 512 here i will show user account control flocks to manipulate user account properties so there i have used 512 which creates normal account which will block by the default domain policy so for that we didn't get that user to get this user again come to the account directory users and computers please delete all these files open auto user ldf and here please change this to 544 which means it will create the normal account along with the password not required here 544 is not showing that's why i am combining 512 plus 32 okay it will create the normal account and does not require the password okay after entering 544 just save this file and after that again come to command prompt please run the same command now here i got five entries modified successfully okay now open the active directory come to organization unit again refresh it once now i got the five user accounts but here only monosa is in active mode because in creating the ldf file i have given user account control for only the Manasai account here I am not assigning user principal name and user account control for any other users that's why only Manasa is enabled to enable all these accounts just right click and please select enable account okay and just select one user account and come to properties and here come to the account now it is showing the logon name and domain name free windows 2000 it will appear as manasa because in creating the ldf file i have entered some account name as manasa so some account name represents Logon name for the pre Windows 2000. Now close this again. Come to make you know, properties account here. It is not showing the logon name and domain name because in creating the LDF file for remaining all the users, I have not given user principal name, that's why it is not showing here so with this i have completed ldifda command for creating the users now i will show how to use csv file for creating the multiple users for that just i am removing all the accounts for this i have created users name list in excel sheet Okay, here DN represents distinguished name and object class, SAM account name and user account control, user principal name, CN, which represents common name, organizational unit, and this is the domain component. And I'm creating users, so object to class comes under user, SAM account name. For Manus, I am not giving the SAM account name, so I will show what will happen. 
and for user account control i am using 544 which creates normal account and does not require the password okay i'm giving user principal name for all the accounts now come to the command prompt just run this command csv dg for importing new users please use this command users dot csv total three entries modified successfully so again come to the active directory users select organization unit just refresh it once and here it is showing all the accounts right click come to properties and come to account and here it is showing the login name and domain name but in pre windows 2000 login name it is showing the 18 characters because while creating .csv file we left blank in sam account name for manasa so windows 2003 will generate a random 18 character pre windows 2009 for this account so we have to fill all the details in .csv file correctly to log on into the pre windows 2000 we have to remember this 18 characters login name come to other account now here it is showing the pre windows 2000 name with this i have successfully completed multiple users in windows server 2003 by using special tools IDI, FDE, and csvde if you like this video please click on like button and please share this video with your friends and please visit my channel itbird 143 to watch more latest uploaded videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you friends have a nice day